שמע ישראל, אדוני אלוהינו, אדוני אחד. Blessed be the name of the glory of his kingdom forever and ever. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words which I command to you this day shall be upon your heart. You shall teach them thoroughly to your children and you shall speak of them when you sit in your home and when you walk on the road, when you lie down and when you arise. You shall bind them for a sign upon your hand and they shall be a tefillin between your eyes. And you shall write them upon your doorposts and upon your gates and it will be if you will diligently obey the commandments which I enjoin upon you this day, to love Adonai your God, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. I will give rain for your land at the proper time, the early rain and the late rain, and you will gather in your grain your wine and your oil, and I will give grass for your fields, for your cattle, and you will eat and be sated. Take heed, lest your heart be seduced away, and you turn astray and worship alien gods and bow down to them. For then the wrath of Adonai will blaze against you, and he will stop up the heavens, and there will be no rain, and the earth will not yield its produce, and you will swiftly perish from the goodly land which Adonai has given you. Therefore place these words of mine upon your heart and upon your soul, and bind them for a sign on your hand, and bind them for a reminder between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children to speak of them when you sit in your home, and when you walk on the road, and when you retire, and when you arise. And you shall inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates so that your days and the days of your children may be prolonged on the land which Adonai swore to your forefathers to give to them, for as long as the heavens rest above the earth. Adonai spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and tell them to make for themselves fringes on the corners of their garments throughout the generations, and to attach a thread of blue on the fringe of each corner. They shall be to you as it sits it, and you shall look upon them and remember all of the commandments of Adonai, and fulfill them, and you will not follow after your heart and after your eyes, by which you go astray so that you may remember and fulfill all of my commandments and be holy to your God. I am Adonai your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I, Adonai, am your God. Truth and belief is all this. It is established with us that he is Adonai our God. There is no other, and that we are Israel his people. It is he who redeems us from the hand of tyrants, our king, who delivers us from the grip of our enemies, the benevolent God who avenges us against our persecutors and brings retribution on all our mortal enemies. He does great things beyond limit and wonders beyond number. He has kept us alive and did not allow our feet to falter. He led us upon the high places of our foes and increased our strength over all of our adversaries. He is the benevolent Adonai who in our behalf brought retribution upon Peril and signs and wonders in the land of the Hamites who in his wrath struck all the firstborn of Mitzrayim, and brought out his people Israel from their midst to everlasting freedom, who led his children through the divided parts of the Sea of Reeds, and drowned their pursuers. Not one of them remained. As his children beheld his might, they extolled and offered praise to his name, and willingly accepted his sovereignty. Moshe and the children of Israel, with great joy, raised their voices in song to you, and they all proclaimed, Who is like you among the supernal beings Adonai? Who is like you, resplendent in holiness, too awesome for praise, performing wonders? Your children beheld your sovereignty as you split the sea before Moshe. This is my God, they exclaimed, and declared, Adonai shall reign forever and ever. And it is said, Adonai has redeemed Yaakov and delivered him from a power mightier than he. Baruch Adonai, who delivered Israel. Our Father, let us lie down in peace, our King. Raise us up to a good life in peace. Improve us with your good counsel. Help us speedily for the sake of your name and spread over us the shelter of your peace. Protect us, and remove from us the enemy, pestilence, sword, famine, and sorrow. Remove the Itzara from before us, and from behind us. Shelter us in the shade of your wings, and guard our goings out and our comings in for a good life and peace, from now and for all time. For you, Adonai, are our guardian and our deliverer. Baruch Adonai, who guards his people Israel forever.